Good morning, guys. My name is Danny, and I'm going to be giving you today's webinar. Um, for today's webinar, I'm going to be talking about templates, everything about templates. Where do you find them? How do you create them? How do you import images? Everything in regards to templates in the ReFX system. But before we get there, I want to show you our new homepage. And um, just to let you know where everything is located and all that stuff. So um, we did integrate this uh, yesterday. And of course, for those of you who uh, logged in today, you will see this new homepage. But it doesn't have anything uh, new rather than what you already know. And um, everything is located in its exact place. The only thing is that, of course, the buttons are at the top right. And um, you have account and then you have settings where you're, you will be able to log in. OK, if you scroll down, you will be able to go to support in case you want to contact us, our numbers um, to schedule a coaching session. Either way, you know that you do have the live talk button at the top left or at the bottom left sorry where you will be able to leave us a message if it's off hour off, off office hours or if it's in office hours from nine to six from monday to friday you will be able to talk to a live agent okay um some people may see the old screen of course but if you take a look over here when you go to um reafax.com it should take you to this new home page okay um apart from that everything is in its place the only thing is that we just updated to much newer stuff of course if you want to go to our social media, you can take a look at it on your left. And like I said, to log in, you just have to click on settings. Or if you have the button, log in. Thank you to all of those who gave us those compliments. You know that we're working hard to upgrading the website to make you feel comfortable and each time making it better for everybody. Okay. So let's talk about templates. Templates, um, they're very important in ReFX. Why? Because templates will be uh, making our lives easier. That's one of the main points and the most important one. And why is this? Because we use variables. We use the variables so that we don't have to go back and forth to copy and paste each um, each address, each owner name, or each agent name, right? Um, you just put in the, the variable and everything will be generated automatically for you rather than the text that you do actually have to type it in, right? So um, they're very important what, because with ReFX, you will be generating or sending bulk emails or bulk text messages or bulk um, contracts. Okay. Yes, this is being recorded. Okay. Um, where do we find templates? We find templates in our bottom left hand corner, or almost bottom. <laughs> Uh, no, this, uh, remember the webinar sessions are recorded and they are um, every Friday at 10 a.m. It's always the same time, but after it's, after it ends, we will pass it through addition and all this uh, procedure, but before the end of the day, you will have it in our YouTube channel and in the homepage where it says resources, webinars, there you will find all of the recorded webinars or previous webinars and um, but yeah they're not remember they're not uh, sent to you you have to access them there okay um, going back to templates where do you find them you have email templates 
text messages and uh, templates, SMS templates, letter templates, which is for mailing campaigns, and then task templates. I'm going to explain each one very detailed. Okay, so you know that depending on the search you make, you will be generating lists of results like um, for probates or for pre foreclosures or um, by owner or you're looking to generate a list of results with your filters that you add. You know that depending on the filters that you use, you're gonna have one um, result or the other, okay? So you used, for example, um, all of the filters to find cash buyers, or yeah, cash buyers. So you're gonna have another email template that's gonna be for cash buyers. Um, so why, where do I want to go with this? With this, I'm saying that you can generate as many email templates as you want. So the email template is the actual body of the email that's going to be sent out. Um, this also includes when you generate a contract, you're going to be selecting an email template to go along with the contract because the contract is an attachment and it has to go with the body of any email it has to have something in there so for example you're going to have first offer second offer or you're going to have counter offer in case you're going to be sending out a counter offer you want you want to have that already generated and what do i have over here or what are you looking at so one of the uh, templates that i have generated is a first offer and in the body, I generated the letter, of course, I have to type in dear, where cash buyers interested in. And then the variables are the ones that we're going to put in with 3FS. Now, let's, let's show you how it is. With the add button at the, uh, the top right, or if you already have some generated, you can click edit. Now, I'm going to put over here, today is 724, right? Almost end of the month. And then um, let's say first offer. Or, yeah. Um, all right, now first offer. Offer on. And then I want to make sure I add the property address so that they know what property I'm talking about. Okay? Then I'm going to go to the body. Dear. And who do I want to subject? In this case, it's an email. I want to subject and it's an offer. We're going to go for the agent. So I'm going to click in agent nickname, comma. Remember, if you have any questions, you can always ask anything. I will answer them live. Or if they're too complicated, I will contact you after the webinar. So over here, I'm just going to click enter. Um, we're cash buyers. Remember, I'm not an investor or a realtor because um, if not, I wouldn't be in ReFX, but <laughs> um, I don't know how to actually generate a letter or an email. So I'm just doing, exa doing an, a random example according to everything I've seen with the users or people that have sat with me and taught me along the way in ReFX, okay? Uh, the nickname is the agent's full name. Where it says, when, when we add the agent nickname, it's gonna be, um, no, sorry, actually, it's gonna just be the, the, the first name of the agent, okay? This is only gonna be the first name. We are cash buyers in the area looking to buy the property listed. And then I'm going to add the property address again.
Oops. Um, nine five four seven four three. Okay. Okay, in the in the system, I have this really interesting question. Um, it's it goes like this: Do we have in the system already pre-made intro messages to the agent, or do you or do we have to make them ourselves? So for all of the templates, you're gonna have except for the letter template and for the task template, you're gonna have um, one default. Of course that default is very general. You will be able to, um, if you want more than that default, you can generate the rest on your own. Because remember, like I said, you're gonna have first offer, a cash offer, a counter offer, a selling offer, um, or a selling email. You're gonna have a lot of uh, templates that you wanna generate and have saved so that you don't have to um, keep typing it each time you generate it, okay? So yes, it's very important that you have um, a lot made, of course, and just apart from the default template. You're always free to use the default template, but you're gonna need more than that, okay? Um, over here, I just used these two variables, but you're able to use all of the variables that you have over here on your left. So this is the screen that it opens up to, and then before save, I click on variables. I will be able to have all of those over here, okay? Um, if I want to add, very important, if I want to add my company logo or my actual picture of myself, I don't know, however you want to generate the letter or the email, sorry, you can always add it. Where do we add it? We click over here, but not just clicking there. Um, at the top, I have another link that I have opened and throughout postimages.org, I'm going to choose an image from the, um, from my computer, whatever, and I'm going to upload it into post images. Over here, it's not a natural platform that we're uploading it to. It's only, uh, it's only like a third party that's gonna generate a link that we just need to copy on the clipboard to paste in this area. So over here, I just pasted it. For example, um, you don't have to add any image description. That's not gonna. And over here, what we're gonna do is just make it smaller, just like that. There you go. Um, we just added an image over here and uh, you can do that for both uh, text messages. I don't recommend that to you, but you can add it in case you are generating an email template or a letter template as well. Okay. In the case of it being a logo, like I said, um, anything that identifies you or your company. So we can just click save and you will be able to see the template over here and how it generates. If you want to make it your default, you can do that. And that's the one that's going to always open up. And in a second, I'll show you where you're going to be able to see all of those. We have another question over here. Okay. Okay. So from here, uh, we do have, like I said, add, edit, set as default, or if you want to delete any of the ones that you have over here, like I just deleted, I can go and delete them myself as well. I have text messages templates. You can also remember generate as many templates for this one as well. Um, this one, I would recommend you to make it very basic since it's a text message. You don't want to put too much to it, okay? How many emails I'm being asked can we send as batch? Um, I would, um, I don't know what batch is, but as bulk, 
I would, um, there's no limit throughout Reifox. You can send as many as you want. Of course, um, you want to select, for example, 200, send the email, and then select the next 200, send the email, 250, that's the limit per page, okay? SMS is same thing. You can send as many SMS as you want. There's no limit, like contracts generating 50 new contracts daily. That's the limit per day. But with emails and text messages, you don't have any limit. Um, with text messages, okay, so you have the same buttons at the top right, add, edit, uh, set default, and delete. Same thing. If you have an online fax provider with um, already set up in ReFax and settings, you can also create as many templates as you want. Letter template. Um, this letter template, like I was telling you, is for mailing campaigns. And I'm gonna show you how you're going to and where you're gonna find all these templates that we're generating right now and then where are you gonna find them on the other side? And there, there's two more templates that I wanna to talk to you about that are very interesting. Okay. So the letter template, I'll turn full with email and number already inside the system. Okay, so I got a, a question over here. I don't get it very much, but I'm gonna answer it according to what, what I understood. Are the realtor information with email and number already inside the system? So when you make a, a search and you get a list of results, um, there's an 80% of the time that you're going to be getting agent emails and numbers, okay? If Reifax did not get any in those results, and even if you put in the variable in your template, Reifax will not generate any information because, of course, if it was in your results and there's no information or data there, we have nothing to generate, okay? Even if you add the, uh, for example, the, let's say, okay, so over here, I added an offer price. If I haven't generated an offer price, this variable is not going to generate because, of course, there's no data to get that from. Same thing with the owner uh, name, owner number, or realtor name, or realtor whatever. Um, if ReFX didn't generate it in the data, and even if you put in the variables, we won't generate any information, of course, from where, okay? Um, so the letter templates. Uh, this is for mailing campaigns. And then task templates. Um, over here, you will be able to generate a task template. For example, you can put in different tasks so that you can just generate in one template or different tasks, and then you can schedule your, your task all in one with this template. Okay. Um, if you want to see more about the task template, I invite you to see the, um, the webinar on the tasks, on scheduling tasks, and it's, it's, it's very explanatory and very good, okay? So that I don't dig too much in, deep into this because we would take hours if I sit over here and explain it to you guys. <laughs> okay. In the search, another template that you got to know about. So when you, for example, always log into your Reifax account and um, let's say, for example, you want to have or you have a, lot, a set of filters that you don't want to keep putting into your account each time you log in. Well, once you put in, for example, for cell, single family, three, 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 two, five. Um, I'm gonna put a market value equal or less, I think it is, then 450. 
a debt to equity equal or greater than 30. Okay, so let's say for example, each time that I log into Reifex, I don't want to, and I, of course I don't remember, um, select all, the, all these filters. What I can do is save it this first time. And I'm gonna put Raward for sell single family home. And then at the bottom, I'm gonna put market value uh, 450 or less. I'm sorry. That to equity mm, 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 plus 30. Okay. So you have to add a name of the search and a description in new, and then just click save. Over here, what you're doing is saving this um, search and you can always go back to it. Okay. Um, what did I name it? <laughs> oh my goodness. Raw word. Okay, there we go. You can always go back to it, search for it in the search bar, and just click load. And you will have it loaded over here. Um, this is one of the templates that I wanted to show you about. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take, I'm gonna, let's do the search like that. Remember, this is a very random search. Over here, another template that I wanted to show you about. It's important because this way you don't have to go into the overview of each property and going next, next, no. So um, over here in the grid template, in the little square between 250 and default template, you can click on grid template and you can generate a new template so that you can uh, view the information you're actually looking for. For example, I'm going to take out beds, bath, pool, waterfront, and living area, unit number. I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay. And I'm going to add, for example, owner-occupied. Agent. Name. Email and phone number, let's say. Um, HOAC, yeah, I wanna add that one too, okay. So this one is seven, okay. Now I'm going to click save once I have added to this list on the right all of the variables, let's say, or the columns with information that I'm looking for. And then I'm just going to click save. I'm going to go into, scroll down, click on the one that I just generated, right? And click OK. What did I do here? Here, um, I... I generated or modified this grid template that you're looking at. So now I see the information that I am looking for, like market value, agent name, um, agent email, and agent phone number, HOAP. Okay? You see everything that I added over here. Do we have any questions so far? Okay.
Um, from here, what you can do and why is it important? Uh, you can select, and this can be for even for properties that are not active for sale or that are currently active for sale, okay? Um, you can select the properties and export with information you are interested in having in your Excel, okay? Remember that to export, you have up to uh, 5,000 properties per month. So you can't ex export more than that. Okay. Um, this is one of the templates that I wanted to talk to you about or one of the other templates. And then for those who have a professional or professional dialer, you will have the same grid template over here as well in the follow-up. The follow-up offers you the grid template. Um, you can modify it the same way or you can even use the ones that you generated in your results over here. For example, I can add the ones that I have over here. For example, there you go. Okay. Um, another template. Okay, no. Before anything, I'm going to show you. I'm going to go put it in default so that it doesn't mix me up. Okay. So over here, I wanted to show you um, how do we generate or how do we see the actual email templates and text messages templates and the emails. So for example, I'm going to put over here, um, instead of free effects, let's do a, a short pause so that I can modify this and um, I can show you how it's going to send out, okay? Okay. So over here, what I did was modified my contacts so that it, I don't send any false offers, emails, text messages, and I actually just send it to myself, okay? Um, you guys know the steps on how to do everything, so I'm just going to click on send email. Over here, so remember that I set as default the ones that we just generated, but I'm not actually just going to use that one. Let's use another one. Let's see if it's this one. Um, nope, definitely not that one. <laughs> Let's see, let's say that I use this one. And property interest, I forgot to put in the property address over here. You can always, before sending it out, you can also um, add or take out, okay? It's not like the template is there to just copy and paste. You see that I'm modifying it. Let's say that I wanna take out this information. And there we go. I'm going to send. Okay. It's processing. And that is where you're going to be able to select all the templates for email. Same thing for text messages. Um, if you want, I'm not actually going to send this one because we ha I have another number there. But over here, you, I clicked, I have the two properties selected. I clicked on SMS and I'm on manage template. I generated, I, or I select the one that we generated, either the ReFX default that comes with all of the ones that uh, you guys have, or the offer notice that, that I created previously, okay? So, I'm gonna go ahead and um, close. 
to generate the document, um, to generate a document. Um, over here, of course, you, we already have the template created because it's one of the email templates. Like I was telling you, it's the same steps um, with the email template or the document is an attachment. So since you already created an email template, it's just gonna add the body and that's it. So how does it actually work? Let's see if I have an email in this follow history. Uh, yay. Okay. So over here, you will be able to see this is an offer received from me. <laughs> I have um, the name of the agent. I have the property address. And I have the offer price. And offer date. Okay, I added all that and this is how the email template is going to generate with the attachment. I have the attachment up here. Okay, let's see another one. Um, this one, for example, does not have an attachment. It's just a regular email. Let's say I sent a follow up email. Um, hey, remember I sent you an offer. Okay. Hello, and then of course, the owner of the property I'm interested in, blah, blah, blah. And then the offer price, okay? And this is how it actually generates. The same thing for text messages, you will be able to view them in your um, emails tab, in your sent, you will be able to see all of those text messages that you gen or that that you sent out successfully if not if they're failed you will find them in task failed like this one for example all these you see text all these failed and they will give you the error message of why they did do we have any questions so far Okay. Um, I did go a little, or I did pass over the uh, task templates, right? But let me show you where you're going to, once you generate your task template, where you will be able to find them. Okay, I have a, a really interesting question over here. Can I send emails to homeowners or only realtors? It all depends. Um, it all depends on if the product that you have, if it's professional or professional dialer, first of all. And second, if um, you have externally found the owner email. Free of tax, remember for uh, professional or platinum and professional only finds emails for agents okay with the professional dialer we have integrated the skip tracing service and with the skip tracing service it does find 80 percent of the time the owner emails as well for example okay I can send, if, if I have the email, you can send it out. If you find, for example, a, if you gave, uh, if you have the professional and you gave the owner a call, Danny, you gave Danny a call and you asked Danny for the email address, you can go in like I did in the contact section and type in the email and send it to them. Okay. By generating it through ReFX, you would need to have the professional dialer to actually uh, find further information on the agent or owner, okay? Now, I was talking about uh, scheduling tasks, right? Once you have created your scheduled uh, template or your task template at the bottom left, okay? I select the properties or I add the properties into my follow-up. You guys already know the deal. 
and I'm going to click schedule task. In schedule task, I have previously generated the template. Okay. So for example, I'm going to click on this one load. This is everything that my task temp my my task template has. And when do we want or when do I want it to start executing? I want it to start executing, for example, on Tuesday at 11 a.m. So it's going to start executing this first this first task and then it's going to go to the second one and third one depending on how you uh, designed it in your template okay on that side because you can for example um, send docs is the first task right but you want the send sms to be uh, sent out um, three hours after the scheduled first one so that's how everything is going to be once it depends on how you schedule it on the template side okay but this is where you're going to be able to find it in the create in the manage template sorry you execute over here and then just click create for further information on how to or how the task work and how to generate it and how to create it, please view the webinars. They're really helpful. Guys, do we have any questions so far? Um, any doubt on ev anything I have gone through? Okay, so before I leave, remember you can contact us from my native Friday from 9 to 6 p.m. EST time um, at the bottom right online. Okay, you can talk to us online at those office hours at the bottom left hand corner in any part of the system or you can just click on help. And you can view our video. Okay. These are the different section of the videos. If you click on the folders on the plus sign, it will open up the different ones. These are very short videos. If you want to find the webinars, you got to go to the home page. And in the resources, webinars, you will find all of the previous recorded webinars, okay? And today's webinar, you will find it by the end of the day. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the questions for being um, attending today. And if you don't have any further questions, then um, it's up to now. I hope you have a wonderful day, excellent weekend, and you can contact us. Um, through our company page support or at the contact us button. Okay. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.